I'm here at the Pebble H quarters in Fremont, California. I have a production candidate version of the Pebble Flow here that I got a tour of. I got to drive it. Let me show you some of the cool features. I'm really excited about this. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of cool tech and they've really just reimagined this RV from the ground up and made the user experience so much easier. One of the things that I am most jazzed about, if you follow me in, is not only is the layout and the design super minimal and sleek and just gorgeous, they've also done a lot of things to try to make it feel very open because RVs are often very claustrophobic. Let's be honest, a lot of them are small. And so you have to take advantage of every little space that you possibly can. And so they've really done that down to the way that they've done the lighting. They have ambient lighting all throughout. So imagine, you know, you're camping at night in Joshua Tree and you want a little light on, you're playing a game, but you don't want to like ruin the vibes. You just turn your ambient lighting on. I love that. Um, you have these nice pop out windows so you can really experience the nature all times of the day. The back too also has a really beautiful pop out window. You know, little things like this sink, this is not a sink, this faucet turns around and turns into an outdoor shower. Like, Duh, I love that, but you know, no one else is doing that. You have an induction stove top that you can actually pull out and it has these little legs. And because this induction, you can just put it on your campsite's picnic table and cook your eggs in nature. No need to stay inside your RV. My favorite feature, I mean, it's hard to put a favorite on it, but something that I really appreciate because I did grow up RVing is these windows. So they are enabled with smart glass, which means that they can turn opaque or be transparent literally at a push of a button. Everything is controlled via this iPad that comes custom in the Pebble or there's also gonna be an iOS app so you can do it on your phone. And let me demo it for you guys. Right now it's clear. It's a little harder to see in the showroom here, but opaque and we'll do it again clear opaque so the thought behind that is to try to make this space as open as possible during the day so you don't have any of those ugly drapes you know clunky and they don't really work and they rattle and I just have so many memories of like camping and my grandparents and my parents like messing with the drapes constantly to try to get privacy. And I love that you don't have to worry about that. It just makes it so much more clean in here and also just a lot easier to be able to see outside when you want to or when you want privacy, whether you just want to do a quick change or use the bathroom or whatever it is, um, sleep at night. You can do that with the press of a button. I really like that. Right now, this front, this is the dinette area. Um, I folded it down just a second ago to, to check out the bed, but it, it folds down really easily. I'll, I'll unfold it so you can see. You put the cushions on either side and whoop, just pops right up. And then you can even move it left or right to, you know, just change up the seating arrangement and allow for more room if necessary. You have storage everywhere. That's another big problem with RVing is you never have enough room for everything. So uh, this is huge, by the way, and I love that they've just really been very thoughtful with basically turning any empty space into a little cabinet or a little storage spot. That is awesome. You have a convection microwave slash oven that's also an air fryer, a pretty expansive fridge. I love that. And freezer. You can actually fit ice cream in there for once. <laughs> They're usually quite small if you know anything about RVs. So I also like that it's covered with the, what's this called? The cupboard. It's just very sleek. You're like, where's the fridge? There it is. We talked about the stove. Okay, the bathroom. This is probably the trickiest thing. So I talked about that smart glass before. Also on the bathroom. So right now it's opaque. You can't see in it. But it kind of closes the space in. This is a pretty small little alleyway here. As it is with RVs. Uh, so... If you want to come, you can stay there. Here, let me just turn it on for you. <gasps> now you see me? Now you don't. Ta-da! So that is gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Let me close it. See how much, I don't know if maybe you can back up and get like a, like a bigger shot of the RV, but the difference that it makes standing in here and having this clear is shocking. Like it just feels so much better. And it looks better. And it's a very nice looking, fairly large bathroom. 
So why would you want to cover that up if you don't need to? So I think that's genius. Um, I don't know if there's too much to say about the bathroom. I think there's storage. Yeah, I like that. There's like storage behind the mirrors with little railings so you can put all your products, medicine cabinet without rolling everywhere, keep everything hidden. This bathroom, okay, I'm 5'10", I'm pretty tall. This is great. And with my shoes on, I'm probably even taller. And you have a little bench here. Put your kiddos there when you hose them down. This is a very nice sized bathroom. I did a really good job on the bathroom, I think. And then again, like I said, the ambient lighting just runs everywhere. Okay, then you come to the back. This is the back room, but it's also, you know, your portable workstation. You have a really big desk. You can fit two people here, no problem. You got this cute little just integrated bench seat here. And then of course you can, you know, bring your fold up chairs. I won't open it for you, but you know, you can bring your chairs and set up however you would want. Um, there's more storage down here. And then when it comes time to sleep, all you have to do, it's like a Murphy bed. So you grab that and you pull it down, give it a little push. And there you go. There's your bed. You don't have to rearrange cushions or blow up a mattress or even make it. You can leave it made and it folds up perfectly. And let's see how comfortable it is. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I don't want to go all the way forward because I have my shoes on, but I can tell that it's plenty long. Definitely roomy enough for two people. You can put like your phone here, have your phone charger. They have outlets everywhere. Ooh, even USB-C. I like you that. So yeah, this is cool. And then up top, they used to have cabinets they were telling me, but they did away with them because sometimes you want to put stuff that like you don't really need drawers and covers and it just adds extra weight. And this is all about being light and aerodynamic. So they just have nice shelves here. So you can put piles of clothes. I could see like throwing a duffel bag up there, sheets, you know, extra stuff, whatever you need. And then to open this, you just fold it up literally like a Murphy bed. Once you do it a couple times, you get the hang of it. It's really easy. It clicks in and there's your workstation. So I love that because I think that like, because of this is all electric, because it has solar panels. I don't know if I said that, but it has solar panels on the roof and I guess it's also like ready to go for Starlink. The thought is this can become an extension of your house. If you park it in your backyard, you could Airbnb it. You could have a guest stay there, like mother-in-law apartment. It could be an office. Or when you want to take it off grid and go camping, you can do that for up to seven days. You can have enough power to sustain your life basically um, with the tanks and then the electricity and all of that. The thought is, you know, this is basically like a remote worker's dream or a digital nomad, if that's what we're still calling those people. Um, so I definitely think that's cool. I could definitely see myself taking this and working in the middle of nowhere. I think that would be a really cool experience to have. And what better to do it than in a super techie all electric pebble. Let's go outside. So this is the outside of the pebble flow. The first thing you notice is kind of looks like a spaceship. I mean, this thing is so sleek, so nice. I love the color scheme. It's not like anything else you see rolling down the road. And I personally love that. You all know that because I drive a Cybertruck. There's so many cool things. Obviously, we talked about the pop-out window. It also has a awning, an integrated awning that's motorized that just comes out, has legs. That's great. All campers know that. You have a little gear locker if you will so you want to throw skis in there I don't know what else you would put in there but that's great I also noticed there's like outlets in there so that's cool and a light that's super nice and then this is the front so this trailer RV trailer is 3x more aerodynamic than your traditional RV trailer that's been on the market forever um, so that a lot of that is, you know, made up by the shape, how that they've designed everything. But a big portion of it is this front part. Actually, when you drive, it raises and comes up to about here so that when the wind is coming, it pushes it up and over and it really reduces the drag coefficient. So that's pretty amazing. I think that was a really smart design, something that, you know, you know people who think about, you know, all of those engineering details and probably drive electric cars are thinking about drag and thinking about trying to make something super aerodynamic. This is what they came up with. I love that. I will cut in some B-roll, but it has 
a bunch of other cool features. So basically you can control this entire trailer with the iPad. Um, you can basically drive it around. You can, it can spin in circles. It can move forward, backwards, left, right, to move it around in your campsite. But specifically is good for a feature they have that lets you automatically hitch it to your SUV or truck. So we got to test that out. I got to see it like four or five times and it was amazing and it worked flawlessly. And, you know, as someone who's been involved in hitching up loads and trailers to cars, it can be a little bit stressful and especially if you're not super seasoned with it. So I could see like a brand new RVer being nervous about that experience and this takes that completely away because you literally whip out your iPad, you press a couple buttons, it moves forward, it lowers, it connects. It also has an auto level feature that basically levels out your entire trailer for you so that you don't have to worry about messing with the leveler every night. I have fond memories of my parents yelling at each other trying to get our RV level and we're tired because we've been road tripping all day and we finally get there, it's literally pitch black. My dad has his little leveler and he's trying to get it so that we don't feel like we're rolling when we're sleeping. And so the thought of just pressing a button and it doing that for you is pretty amazing and pretty incredible. And anyone who camps will like that feature for sure. Anything else? Uh, there's cameras everywhere, all around. So you have a 360 degree view and a bird's eye view, which is awesome. And then let's talk about the charging. So all electric, no propane, no gas. You have DC fast charging CCS here. You have your 50 amp out outlet here. So this is cool. It's actually bi-directional. So you could be charging this DC fast charging or just with your solar, um, just running the trailer. And then you can plug in your electric vehicle, your house. If you have a bike you need to charge up, whatever it is that you want to charge up, you can just plug that up in here and it can flow all the way through back and forth. So that's cool. If you have a Tesla Powerwall, but you have this, you don't really need a Tesla Powerwall anymore. So it can replace that functionality and you can have that back up to your house. And I think that when I was talking with the team, like that's a lot of what they were saying is like, we want this RV not to just be something that, you know, you use a couple of times a year and then it's ugly and you have to pay to put in storage. It's like, first of all, it's beautiful. It's super cool, it has all these features. It's nice to be in and because of the solar power, because of the electric, you know, the electricness of it, you can put it in your backyard and you can use it as an ADU. You can host a guest in here. You could literally Airbnb it out. It could make you money or you could use it as a workspace, like an office space. Like if, you know, I had a large enough house with a large enough backyard, I could see putting this on the side yard of the backyard and using it as like a YouTube studio or just a little space to get away from the rest of the house. So I love the idea of you know, taking advantage of some of the features and actually getting more of your money's worth out of it than just sitting it in, you know, an expensive storage unit. A couple quick specs for all you nerds. It is a 45 kilowatt hour battery and a 1.1 kilowatt solar roof. Another cool thing is we were told by the engineers that in the wheelbases, this is actually where the motor is. That's something that's never been done before. So that is completely new. And, you know, you don't really necessarily see that on cars for a lot of good reasons, but in a trailer, it makes a lot of sense and it really makes it easy for you to maneuver and, you know, get quick acceleration and easy, quick turns. One thing I forgot to explicitly mention while I was at the factory filming for you guys is that one of the biggest benefits of these motors and the battery is that it can assist you while towing. So if you tow with an electric vehicle and you have range anxiety, it can dramatically increase your range by giving it a little bit of a boost and a little bit of an assist, which is pretty amazing. I tow with an electric vehicle and that's one of the biggest negatives of towing with an EV is not that it's not powerful enough, but that you just don't get as much range and you have to charge up more. So I love the idea that your trailer can assist you in that and make you able to go further without having to supercharge or charge. The team doesn't have any, you know, for sure stats, but they did kind of tell me that more or less, depending on a lot of conditions, you they've seen you can get about up to double the range. So if you were going 100 miles before, you could expect to go around maybe 200 with the RV. So that's pretty incredible. I also did actually get to test it. I didn't put any of that footage in here. 
um, into the video, but I did get to drive it. Uh, the team was awesome enough to let me use their Cyber Beast, which was so cool. And another great benefit that I saw is it just makes it so much easier to tow. You don't get as much of that like lurching, the jolting, the kind of like that stop and go where you have to go really slow to accelerate and really slow to brake. A lot of that is smoother and just it feels really like you're not towing anything. It was really wild. The combination of the really powerful Cyber Beast and then the tow assist mode on the Pebble, like I barely felt anything behind me. And I'm a pretty novice tower. I don't do it a ton. And so it gave me a lot more confidence when I was towing. I probably drove around for at least 30 minutes with the trailer on the back and I was just blown away. I thought it was really incredible. And I could see someone, um, really anyone benefiting from this, whether you have an electric vehicle or not. If you have a gas car, obviously will also help with your gas mileage and make your fuel efficiency better with the Pebble versus a traditional travel trailer. So it has a lot of benefits. It also has regen braking. And so you can use that to kind of keep a charge on your Pebble so that when you get to your campsite, you have the same amount of charge when you started than when you got there. So you can get that full seven days that I talked about. So that's also super cool. Um, so I wanted to make sure I added that in because that's probably one of the biggest selling points for someone with an EV wanting to choose this over a traditional travel trailer is just be able to drive further and charge less. So that is my first look at the Pebble Flow and my experience actually getting on the back of a truck and driving with it. And I have to say, I'm crazy impressed. This thing is so cool. The team is really great. They were super nice to have me out. So thank you to the Pebble team. And kudos to you guys for really thinking about, you know, what tech and what innovations does the RV industry need? Because there's not really been much change in probably decades. So I think it's so cool to see a company approach it from that perspective and really put a lot of, you know, heart and soul into their design and not only just make like cool whiz main features, but features that actually improve you know, your camping lifestyle and make using a camper easier, you know, extending your range, making it simpler to tow with, easier to hitch, you know, things like the windows turning on and off, like little things like that all add up. And I'm definitely going to keep my eye on this company and hopefully maybe be hooked up with a loaner to take to Joshua Tree. I'm looking over in the corner at the marketing director, but we'll see. Anyways, it's super cool. I'm excited about it. You guys go ahead and check it out and make sure you hit subscribe and follow along for more tech and EV adventures.